In these Masters of the Air clips, we see both bomber gunners and fighters attacking targets with their 50 caliber machine guns. The intent of this video is to address why the recommended duration of machine gun burst fire was less than 2 seconds. This page shows the various types of Browning 50 caliber machine guns used in World War II. U.S. bombers and fighters adopted the aircraft basic M2 model shaded. This was the lightest model with a weight equating to 61 pounds. The gun's rate of fire is listed between 700 and 850 rounds per minute or around 13 rounds per second with a muzzle velocity equating to 2800 feet per second or Mach 2.5. This page from a declassified December 1944 20th Bomber Command document titled Combat Crew Manual lists the reasons for limiting the number of rounds per burst from the B-29 bomber's 50 caliber machine guns. A 50 caliber bullet displays a high degree of accuracy. The grouping of a 50 caliber bullet fired from a V-block stabilized single shot rifle is 18 inches at a distance of 600 yards. We can represent this graphically by a 1.5 foot diameter 50 caliber bullet strike grouping located a distance of 600 yards from a V-block stabilized single shot rifle. The dispersion equates to 0.85 mils or 0.0478 degrees. As discussed in these channel's videos, World War II practice is to adopt a 4 mil cone of dispersion for 75% of a fighter's bullet strikes. A 4 mil cone of dispersion accounts for the bullet's mass property variations, gun vibrations, and plane vibrations. The grouping increases from 18 inches to 20 inches for a 50 caliber single shot round fired from a tripod mounted machine gun, as shown in this representation. The cone of dispersion equates to 0.94 mils. The grouping increases to a 5 foot diameter circle for 10 to 12 rounds fired from a tripod mounted machine gun, as shown in this representation. This cone of dispersion equates to 2.83 mils. Bullet strike grouping increases even though the gun is held steady. The grouping increases to a 75 foot diameter circle for a 50 round burst fired from a tripod mounted machine gun, as shown in this representation. The cone of dispersion equates to 42.5 mils. A 50 round burst equates to around 3.8 seconds of continuous fire. This circle represents a 75 foot diameter, 50 round bound strike area. This 8 foot diameter represents an air to air target vital area. Given a uniform 50 round grouping within the 75 foot diameter strike area, there is only a 56% chance one of the 50 fired bullets would contact an area of this size. A large strike pattern is undesirable since the chances of hitting the target's vitals is small due to the wide dispersion of bullets. Accuracy is dramatically reduced for the 50 round burst since the barrel heats up. An overheated barrel will expand, reducing the bullet speed by a few hundred feet per second. At a certain barrel expansion point, the bullet will start tumbling, which dramatically reduces their predicted accuracy to a few hundred feet from the muzzle. Machine gun accuracy is dependent on stabilization of the gun mount, length of burst, and condition of barrel. The best tight group strikes are obtained when firing a 3 to 5 round burst. A 5 round burst equates to a duration of around 0.4 seconds. A controlled sighted 0.4 second burst is the most effective and accurate method of machine gun fire. The few round burst effectiveness is backed up on this page from an October 1943 USAAF Engineering Division Appendix No. 4 memo titled General Discussion of Project and Escort Theory. A bomber's power turret will deliver more effective and longer range fire than handheld flexible mount guns. Power turrets provide much better gun stabilization by cutting down on the gun vibrations. Bomber gunners will struggle to deliver accurate flexible mount machine gun groupings outside of the first few rounds. Machine gun hosing fire is not good gunnery practice. An effective burst is between 25 and 50 rounds, but the gun must be held rigidly to keep dispersion low and deliver adequate concentrations of fire. Only power turrets can provide this degree of rigidity, not handheld machine guns. This page defines the rounds per burst for the B-29 turret gunners, which maximizes the number of rounds fired while keeping barrel heating under control and maintaining adequate dispersion. All of the B-29 machine guns are mounted in power turrets. B-29 turret gunners were instructed to fire short bursts, not to exceed 30 rounds per gun per minute. 30 rounds equates to 2.3 seconds of fire. When conditions dictate, 10 rounds can be fired every 15 seconds. Point the guns in a safe direction to protect from cartridge cook-off friendly fire strikes. Point the turret guns for maximum cooling when not in use. Bullet dispersion of the two-gun B-29 turret is a low 2.5 mils as defined on this page from a 1945 20th Bomber Command document titled Combat Performance of the Remote Control Turrets of the B-29 Aircraft. This compares to an 8 mil dispersion for 100% of a fighter's single machine gun bullet strikes. 
This page from a 1942 Sperry Gun Sight Manual recommends B-17 ball turret machine guns fire between 10 and 20 rounds per burst to reduce barrel rise, gun vibrations, and barrel overheating. This table from a May 1945 Army Air Forces Training Manual No. 64 titled Fighter Gunnery Rocket Firing Dive Bombing outlines fighter burst combinations allowed without the danger of cartridge cook-off. The first column is the number of rounds fired during the initial burst. Since the rate of fire equates to 13 rounds per second, we can add an adjacent column representing the duration of fire in seconds. The second column is the number of rounds fired during the secondary burst. The third column is a cooling period between the bursts. The fourth column is the number of secondary bursts allowed. This table does not take into account the increase in dispersion from extended fire, only the threat of cartridge cook-off. If firing over 150 rounds continuously, cartridge cook-off may occur. Barrels need to be changed out every 1,500 rounds. Recall that a 50-round machine gun burst will cause bullet tumble and large strike groupings, so any of these shaded rows would not be recommended. To maintain accuracy, limit dispersion, cook-offs, and barrel overheating, best to keep the burst to 15 rounds or less, as shown in this row. Ideally, bomber gunners and fighters should limit themselves to a 15-round burst followed by a repeating 30-second cooldown and secondary 15-round burst during each combat engagement. Flexible mount gunners should consider limiting their burst to around 5 rounds, since their guns cannot be held with the rigidity needed to maintain accuracy beyond 5 rounds. This burst cooling mix can be repeated up to 10 times without the danger of cartridge cook-off. This will deliver the optimum number of rounds while maintaining adequate barrel cooling, limit the danger of cartridge cook-offs, and provide adequate dispersion with the standard mill accuracy level of the respective 50 caliber machine gun weapons platform. In this still from a 1986 Amazing Stories episode titled The Mission, the ball turret gunner is firing continuously for 13.3 seconds which equates to 173 rounds per gun. This is classic hosing of the target. This duration of fire would certainly destroy the barrels by overheat, cause large bullet grouping patterns, and cause cook-off misfires. The Masters of the Air series did an okay job in maintaining burst control for both the Tuskegee fighters and bomber gunners. They generally fired in the upper ends of the recommended burst limits. In summary, machine gun rounds per burst is limited by four factors. Number one, the need to fire adequate number of rounds to destroy the target. Number two, accuracy of rounds per strike or dispersion. The lower number of rounds fired during a burst, the better the accuracy. Number three, control barrel heat. The higher the barrel temperature, the lower the accuracy. Number four, minimize the likelihood of cartridge cook-off. The higher the barrel temperature, the more likely cartridge cook-off and barrel destruction. Need to add cooling intervals between the bursts. If you've enjoyed this aircraft machine gun burst fire duration considerations deep dive review, please consider commenting, liking, and or subscribing to the channel World War II U.S. Bombers.